Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boris Huey Outdoors with the introduction of the new Pulsar Thermion 320 12 micron scopes. Been getting a lot of questions about what microns, what resolution means. For example, I've got a lot of guys that have called me, should I sell my XP50 Trail 640 17 micron scope and upgrade to a 320 12 micron Thermion? Well, well no. And so, so I'm going to talk a little bit about resolution and microns and we'll talk about some a little bit of other things but I'm going to try to keep it as clear as possible so that when you're looking at these things you understand and and have a little bit more information so resolution there from the US manufacturers FLIR and BAE you have 640 and 320 from the European uh, cores you have 640 and 384 384 obviously has just a tiny bit more resolution over the 320. The higher the number, the more resolution. So 640 versus 320 has four times the pixels in the image than a 320 unit does. So that means four times the information that you're looking at, a much better image. But with the same size lens and the same micron core, a 640 unit will have a much wider field of view with four times the resolution where a 320 is going to have lower resolution a tighter field of view but more magnification it's going to you know have more native magnification over the same thing so for example the xp50 trail which is 640 versus the xq50 trail which is a 384 the xp50 640 17 micron has 1.6x magnification the XQ with the same lens, but the 384 has 2.7x magnification. So people say, well, why, why buy the 640 if I'm going to get more magnification out of the, the 384 or the 320? Well, with the 640, you're basically getting an extra scope in there. Um, you have that wide field of view with higher resolution. On thermal scopes, it's not like a regular day, a, a, a variable power day optic where you adjust the lens for magnification. It's a camera that sees radiation. All it is is a digital camera that projects the image to a screen that you're looking at with your eyeball. When you magnify it, you're zooming in on the screen, so you're losing resolution. So all thermals, or most thermals, come with a 2, 4, and 8 digital magnification. So every time you hit the button, you're doubling that magnification so that XP50 trail that started at 1.6 when you hit that double button it goes to 3.2 so now you have a 320 scope that's at 3.2 X magnification where if you bought the XQ50 you started at 2.7 now you're basically you know, at the same resolution and magnification so when you're buying that 640 that's what you're getting you're getting that extra field of view um, higher resolution and you're able to zoom in and have more pixels whereas the 320 unit or 384 if you zoomed in then you go to 180 and, and lower resolution every time so that's what you're paying for high high resolution wide field of view with the ability to zoom in and get to where the others were now let's talk about microns so a lower micron scope is able to use a smaller lens and get the same magnification. So example, we'll talk about the thermions since this, this came in and most of these questions are coming from the introduction of the thermions. An XM38 thermion 320 12 micron scope has a na native magnification of 4.1x. The old XQ 38 trail had a native magnification of 2.1x. So the old XQ is 17 micron, the new Thermion is 12 micron with the same lens, 4.1x magnification versus 2.1. So more magnification with that same lens. Now is the 12 micron, you know, better image than the 17 micron? Not really, if, it, if you're just relying on the sensor. So, 
Older thermals started with 35 microns, then we went to 25 microns, then we went to 17 microns, is what everybody's been using for a while now, and then we've had 12 microns um, for the last several years, but only a few manufacturers have been doing 12 microns. The 35 micron is a much larger sensor, where the 12 micron is a much smaller sensor. The 35 micron sensor you're sitting here absorbs a lot more information because it's a wider it's more surface area so it absorbs more information than the 12 micron sensor so if you use the if you took a 35 micron sensor and a 12 micron sensor put the same firmware the same lens the same resolution everything side by side 35 micron is going to produce a better image it just is the higher micron is going to produce a better image so why are we going to 12 microns and stuff like that if 35 micron is going to produce a better image. I believe this may be a 25 micron but I believe this is a 35 micron scope. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of the lens. The lens on these things is a rare earth material. It's germanium. It's super expensive. It costs more than the whole rest of the scope put together. So the smaller that you can get the lens the cheaper it is to manufacture, the cheaper it is for the customer. So, this 35 micron, because of the size of the sensor and the lens, is the size of your parents' VHS video camera in 1982-83. This is a Trigicon 60mm 640, this is a 320, this is 640, 12 micron 60mm Trigicon REAP IR. This scope would fit entirely in this 35 micron scope could use it as a case and have room to rattle around. So for the shooters, 12 micron advantage because you get a much tighter package to put on your rifle, lighter, smaller, all that. So we like it as shooters for that reason. The manufacturers like 12 micron over 35 micron because one, this takes a lot more germanium, a lot more material here, and the sensor is bigger. When they make these sensors, they put a sheet in, and I don't know how many they actually get from a sheet, but just keep it simple. We'll say with a 35 micron sensor, they put that sheet in, they can make 10 sensors. So they're going to make 10 cameras with a 35 micron sensor. With a 12 micron sensor that's smaller, they can make 25 to 30 cameras from one sheet. So less materials, less cost, less time, everything. It's advantage. So what's happened is these manufacturers have put a lot of money and research into making 12 micron work very well. It is cost effective versus all the materials they have to use to use 35 that actually poss you know, could possibly make a better image. But they haven't done the research on this, they've done the research on this to get things smaller, lighter, basically faster. So there's your, your reason for the 12 micron is a smaller less expensive package. Is it necessarily 12 micron better? No, but because of the research, the firmware, all the time they've invested into making it better, this scope is going to be, 12 micron is going to be better than the, the older 35 micron. Just as an example, if you remember at the beginning, I told you a 640 scope versus a 320 scope. 640 with the same size lens is gonna have a wider field of view over a 320 scope with the same lens would have a smaller field of view. So 320 has almost double the magnification of 640, but 640 has more resolution. With a 12 micron sensor in here, this 12 micron 640 resolution scope with a 60 millimeter, this tiny 60 millimeter lens is able to get four and a half X magnification and an incredible resolution. This 35 micron 320 scope with a 100 millimeter lens. 100 millimeter means it should be a lot more magnification. 320 means it should be more magnification. Everything says this is going to be more magnification. This is only a 3x scope. This 3x 320 scope, when it was released, was $25,000. $25,000 for a 3x thermal scope. Today, you can buy an XM. 38 Thermion 320 12 micron scope with 4.1x for $3,295.
that's that's what lower microns have done for us. I hope this cleared it up. I hope I kept it simple enough and didn't get too much into it. If there's any more questions, obviously give me a call at Huey Outdoors. It's 817-668-1001. Uh, you can email me at Todd at Huey Outdoors. I sell night vision and thermal now. If you didn't know, if you want to support this channel, give me a call. As always, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments as well. I try to read that. It's much better to give me a call if you have a direct question about buying a the thermal. Thank you for watching.